Do you know your projector can look like an interactive board in the classroom? Let me explore with you classroom screen. The classroom screen is uh, one of the products out there that every teacher needs to understand. Classroom, the website is called classroomscreen.com. So on classroom screen, what we do on classroom screen is very simple. So I'm going to show you all the steps. So from here right away, this is the website. So you launch and you also try to sign up. It is free, please note. So let's first try to sign up. So after signing up, I'm going to sign up with my um, accept terms and condition. Then sign up with my Google account. Okay. Um, definitely, this is everything about it. You don't need a pro. Just um, click on create new screen. So um, I click on create, then or go back to the home screen. Then you click on the new screen. So this is how it works. And then the first thing you need to activate over here so that it will look exactly like uh, like um, a full screen. The essence of it is not for you to show the whole of your tab in the classroom and more. And actually, an interactive board does not really show that. So you activate this part so that the screen will be wide. So the screen is wide like this. So what I need to do, if I click on the background, I can change the whole of the background as much as possible to any type of background I need in the classroom. And there is also a room there for us to upload the picture of our students in the classroom or whether a project we are working on or whether you have an agenda that you are working on in the classroom. Um, so for now, we are doing, we are working on a tour to, to the pyramid, the pyramid of Gaza. So then after that, we also have a pool. Um, with this, you can create an interactive uh, voting with the children, maybe like a multi-choice right now. Um, okay, let me ask, is a classroom welcoming then question mark then option one yes option two no um, i'm not done so i can easily for me to do this i need to click on the setting and go back maybe um yes i know yes i know okay so over here i'm done so this is it. So you can tell them. So if they are voting, if you are going for A or individual, if you are going for A, um, how many people are going for A? Five. One, two, three, four, five. How many people are going for B? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many people for C? One, two, three. How many people for D? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then maybe if you have more people voting again, you can easily vote. Then they can see how the chat is going on the screen in the classroom. So um, that's for this. Let me drag it one side. Another thing we can also do is to um, random name. What's random name for? So in the classroom, you don't want to uh, you want to create a random name for question and answer in the classroom. So you can easily type all the question one after the other. T T Jerry Joel Okay Gani Chile Ayo. Muba, um, give me one Awusa name over there. Um, let me look for one Awusa name. Can somebody remind me? Musa, okay. She, uh, she, 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 okay. Which other name? Um, Chichi, um, which other name? Can somebody give me name? The audience, please give me name. Okay, nobody to answer me. I'm with you, so I can hear you that name. Okay, I click on continue. So the random name is here. I can use different layouts, depend on the flow. So I'm asking them in a the classroom, um, who is going to answer the next question? I click on here. So who is going to answer? Who is to answer is TT. The next one, who is going to answer? Who is to answer this is Joel. The next one, who is to answer? Who is to answer this is Muba. So as much as possible, that's how it works. And um, I put it aside. So in the classroom, I can still revisit for more activity. Um, QR code. Um, QR code is used for a lot. 
maybe the parents are coming and you have the school website ebencourts.com so if this is the school website and you want the parent to see some of your projects you can easily use this to create a qr code and you you leave it directly on the screen so that they can see your website or maybe there's a project online you've done you can use this to do that so the parents can come scan and um, with this um this is very nice i actually love the sound level one of the most interesting part of this is the sound level you can see i'm making noise do let me talk again quiet quiet class hello hello so you can see the sound level so the more i make noise the more it's actually oh you know it's actually complaining that uh, there's something wrong that they should let me see whether i can so that you can feel it um i'm sure you'll be able to hear the sound now on the screen okay and um, you can see it's already making noise and more so this is how um this works so easy to monitor the children's uh, um noise level in the classroom image you can bring in image maybe there's a project they are writing in the classroom you can easily upload the image and then drop it on the screen maybe a uh, best student of student of the week student of the week is me and um, or oh, let me look for another picture um don't that download there are some interesting picture i i use today okay so i'm using this so um best student of the week is this guy which is me and then i'm dropping it over here so uh with this the next one is text so i can write um, notes in the classroom over here so um text very easy to also use in the classroom you can draw on the screen um drawing maybe you are doing some mathematics working in the classroom um okay do I see no mathematics? Yeah, I know you are making just of me. Hello, this is math. This is my own math. And um, this is written on the screen. Boldly, and the children can work and follow the instructions. So that is how it works. The next one, um, work symbol. So for now, the symbol in the classroom is everybody to keep quiet. So they all have to keep what? To keep quiet so they will need to keep quiet the next symbol is whisper whisper to your neighbor the next one is uh, ask a neighbor and the next one is uh, work together so if we are working together in the classroom do we need to have the symbol around there and we are fine um, the next one is um, traffic light um, stop working exam time about to them ready to go so you can use this during exam time in the classroom your projector can actually do a lot in the classroom so your projector should not just be used to just project your slide alone. These can do a lot for you in the classroom environment. The next one, let's explore timer. So um, we want to time them for a particular project. So they will be saying they have nine minutes, ten minutes, and the um, the time is um, um, is um, reading backwards. So they need to see that um, clock. I like this. The clock is actually there. For the children to see that they have um, to be seeing their work how um, the time time management is very important in the classroom so calendar uh, most classes don't actually have calendar so this is good for calendar and uh, which one again um, dice you can roll a dice in the classroom and uh, where is the dice i just i think i've done a lot so the i can't find the dice okay this is the dice okay the dice is actually so this dice right now i can die okay play the dice then it will roll i can ask for two dice okay two dice in the classroom then maybe i have a game in the classroom they press oh the roll six and three so you count depending on the type of game you are playing in the classroom so i put that over there and uh, remember to click on the wall more wages and um, the next one is um embedded embedded is just like a website you have a website even courts.com run the code so they can they will the result should come up later that is for the code i actually run 
Um, the next one is um, make group group marker. Okay, how does this work? I'm seeing these wages for the first time. So I open and um, we haven't stored any name list here, so you need to create name. Okay, so with this, I can actually group them and um, have group one, group two, group three, and all the names there. So you can easily use this. This is actually like this. Uh, that is going to work perfectly. Stopwatch. So you can do a stopwatch, and then for you to know how many minutes spent by a particular child or more. I like this. And the last one, the webcam. You can also see yourself in the classroom. So the webcam can be used. And the last one on the list is the video. So you can import a video, and the video will be used. You will be seeing the video live in the classroom. So this is how it works. So if I'm you, I will arrange the screen well. So if I'm to arrange my screen right now, if you are not playing any game, I need my stopwatch over here. I need my calendar. I don't need any... Um, okay, do I need stopwatch? No. Do I need this? Uh, I can stop. Okay. This for primary school. This is my, my picture as the teacher. Noise level, very important every day in the classroom. Uh, this uh, noise level important children's name important QR code so that they can see I want them to see I think I don't need this this is the dates and this is not bad so let me make it a full screen then this is how I'm going to create my own wages if I'm to create so give yours a try and then I know these tools will be very useful for you in the classroom um definitely it's going to be very useful to me i've been using this and um, this is very interesting to use in the classroom especially if you don't use interactive board so give it a try and i'll be waiting for those comments on how it has been used by you and um, how you find this too thank you and um remember to watch more videos hmm? you need to learn online and learn thank you bye